This is uh, this is the new normal. I'm just draped in freedom. <laughs> How does it feel? This, this feels right, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. What's up, everybody? I am joined by Hannah Roberts here at Ryan Nyquist's beautiful backyard in Wilmington, North Carolina. Hannah, got some big things coming up in the next couple weeks. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel good. I feel confident and, uh, yeah, just having a good time. But... So one thing that popped up recently I thought was kind of cool is you're riding for milk. I can think of one other BMX rider I've seen in a milk ad, and that was Dave Mira. I don't know if anybody brought that up to you, but... That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, no, it's sick. Um, yeah, the opportunity came, and uh, I knew that I knew that Dave was. Uh, I think I knew that he was in it, but I didn't know if he was the only one or not. But uh, yeah, it came up, and I, I jumped right on it because it was a, it was a pretty good deal. And uh, the the people at Milker are obviously uh, incredible and and uh, super helpful. So it's also a delicious drink. Yeah. yeah. There you go. It goes in brownies. Goes in cereal. Two of my <laughs> favorite things. So. Part of the milk deal and everything else going on, I saw an article about you on USA Today this morning. I see you in Levi's ads. I see you all over the place. You're pretty much in the spotlight going into this Olympic year. I've known you a long time. I don't really think you ever love the spotlight. H how is that going for you, or am I totally wrong here and you love it? Um, no, I, I don't usually like the spotlight, but um, you know, I've been, I've been trying to like appreciate where, where I've came from and, and how far this uh, journey has taken me. So. Uh, it's taken a bit, but um, yeah, I'm trying to jump on uh, as many opportunities as possible. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool to see. It's cool to see all the hard work pay off and, and to see everything come about it. So You might get attacked by a bee here. Yeah, I know. One I of us might. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might make for good television. <laughs> I was just watching it come in my, my eyes. <laughs> on a more serious note here, uh, I took notice of something you posted on an Instagram story the other day where you mentioned why you don't post that often and people say some pretty, in my opinion, dumb things that kind of bring you down and don't make you too excited about sharing everything you do. Is that something you'd care to elaborate on? Yeah, um, you know, everybody has their own opinions. Uh, a lot of people have, like, in, incorrect facts about me, which is fine, you know. It, it doesn't take that long to look it up, but obviously if they don't want to, that's that's their choice. Um, but yeah, I just I just get too many, too many things uh, about, you know, myself that are incorrect or that are kind of meant to be hurtful. Um, so I don't, I don't post too much on social anymore. And, uh, I obviously have never posted too much about my personal life either. Um, so it's just something that, uh, you know, no matter what you do, you're going to get judged a certain way for. It. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of over the hate and, uh, yeah, I just, you know, I, I enjoy the way I live and I enjoy every aspect of my life. So. And it bummed me out when I saw that thinking of the BMX side of things, because I feel like you've done so much to show what's possible for a woman to do on a bike. And I thought that the first time I met you, when I think you were 11 or 12 at the kitchen, I believe I saw you do a bar spin. And I don't think I'd ever seen a woman do a bar spin. I'm, not to say it was the first. I don't think I had ever seen a woman do a bar spin before that. And here's 11-year-old Hannah doing it. I think you've opened up so many opportunities here and shown what women can do. So I hate to see you feel restricted in what you can post because I think you're doing a lot of amazing things here. Yeah, and it's it's not like that, you know, they, a lot of people don't really, you know, talk talk trash about my riding you know if obviously I got a lot of trash for the flare whip because my foot slipped off you know but whatever I, I I had to do it with a dislocated shoulder at that point but um yeah you know it, it's not it's not the fact of my riding but it's the fact on like how how I choose to look you know I, I like to shave my head because I, I don't like hair it's hot here it's humid I don't I don't care I don't need to explain that to anybody and um it's gotten to the point where it it doesn't mess with me anymore, you know, I'm over it, but, you know, sometimes my, my wife takes it a little personally and, and she wants to come back and I uh, kind of shut it down. I just stop posting as often. I, I post what I have to post for uh, sponsorship content and uh, other than that, you know, I just keep to myself and that's just how I like to live now. Which is it's silly to me to hear that because this is BMX. It's not a sport you get into to conform. Yeah. It's a sport you get into to do what you want to do and be yourself. So it's funny to hear you say that, I guess funny is not the right term, but ironic. Yeah. But regardless, I like it when you post more. I, I love, I love the post. I love to post and, and show what I do. I know a lot of people support my riding and a lot of people support, um, you know, me as a person. I, I, I think I'm a, I feel like I'm a pretty decent person. So, uh, yeah, I, I love the post and, uh, you know, maybe after the Olympics, uh, that might go back up, but until then, uh, the hate was just a little too much to, to take with all this other stuff going on, so. Well, let's focus on some positives here. Tokyo's right around the corner. 
I don't think it's a secret that you're the favorite to win this thing. How's that pressure on you? Um, I try not to think about it. It's been there for a little over a year, maybe a little over a year and a half now. Um, but you know, my, I don't, I don't even think my, I mean, I know that my goal when I go to Tokyo isn't to win any kind of medal. Like I just want to put down a solid run and, uh, hang out with my friends and, and, you know, kind of feel normal again. And, uh, yeah, if, if, a, if a run gets me a medal, obviously that's, that's amazing. And, and I'm going to love every second of it, but, um, yeah, definitely not focused on the gold right now. You're always learning new tricks. You're always progressing. Are you going to bring out anything new in Tokyo or is this more about dialing in the basics and, and doing, doing what you do best? Um, I don't know. I haven't really thought about, like, I've, I've looked at the course maybe once or twice, but I haven't really like thought about anything. Um, I do have a few things, a few new things that I, I've never done in contests. And, um, you know, I, I might have a thing or two that I haven't posted yet, but, uh, I don't know if they're coming out and, uh, if, if they do, then it's going to be, it's going to be a good show, but either way, it's going to be a good show because we've been putting in so much work. So. One thing I think is kind of interesting is I would say you're pretty obviously the favorite for the women. I would say Logan Martin's pretty obviously the favorite for the men to take home gold. You both ride for Hyper. What's it like to ride for a brand that's kind of bringing in the two top dogs into the Olympics? Uh, Hyper's been sick through this whole process. They've made sure that everything, you know, that I, that I need, I get. And, uh, you know, obviously mad respect to them. And, and I, I love being a part of the team. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's super crazy. I mean, we, Logan and I won the first worlds together and we won, we just won this last one and, you know, we're going to the, the Olympics and, and Hyper's got a great team and, and they know, I mean, their athletes are well taken care of and, and it shows, you know. Speaking of Hyper, are you bringing a new bike to the Olympics or is it the exact same bike you've been on? Uh, no, uh, we're actually, I'm bringing a new one. Uh, same, basically, you know, it's same setup, not going to change anything. It works. Um, just, uh, doing a little bit of different colorway and uh, haven't haven't built it up yet We're, we've been working on it but um yeah still still collecting the last of the parts and getting the wheels and stuff and uh yeah it's gonna be sick i can't wait to post about it final question for you here you've basically won everything there is for a woman to win in bmx freestyle up to this point what would it mean to you to add that olympic gold medal to your resume uh you know that'd be awesome uh yeah it, it, that's i mean it would be indescribable i i i and you know honored that I have the opportunity obviously but just to be able to show myself that I can be consistent no matter what the pressure is like that's what means more to me um obviously you know with the, with the nationals and and the continentals those are two different types of pressure there's not a lot of um you know um women from other ride or obviously all over the world you know there's only there's only a select few that are able to ride in those events but even with the world championships and, and the world cups when they when it's everybody it's it's a different pressure than the Olympics will be because everybody, you know, there's only nine of us and we all want the same thing. We all want to put down a good run and, you know, the countries want the medals and, and that's what we know that. And uh, just to be able to, uh, if I, you know, if I get it, just to be able to be like, yeah, with that pressure, with everybody riding their best, like I was able to do that. Like that's, that means more to me um, than I guess just being like, hey, Olympic gold, like what's up, you know? I lied about that being the last question. You're still very young. You're 19. Yep. You could have a handful of Olympics in your future if you so choose. After going through this process once and it's not even quite complete, do you want to stay on this train or is this kind of get it done with and kind of see where the road takes you? Um, you know, I, I didn't, I, there's nothing about the Olympic process that I minded too much. Um, obviously it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of training, a lot of people that you have to talk to, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. It's definitely an honor to be able to represent my, the country so, so high and so, uh, in such a way. So I think I'm going to stick on it and, uh, kind of just see where it takes me. I mean, I'm at the, I'm at the point right now where we don't, we don't really have many more contests coming up this year. Or at least they're not announced yet. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. And if I'm able to make the Olympic team next time too, then so be it. And I'll, I'll be there. So Hannah Roberts. Quit hating on Instagram. You, you, I wanted to post good stuff. Be nice. Anything you care to add? Nah, thank you guys. And uh, Tokyo is about to be sick. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>